Hi, it's Sandy and Alex, and we're going to answer, I think they were Summer's questions. Maybe they were Pam's questions. There's ten of them. There's ten of them, and we're answering because I saw them on um, Dizzy Lizzy Beth's video, and I remembered that I never answered them. So here we go, and if I don't have an answer, I'm just going to say pass. I don't feel like trying to think that hard today. So number one, describe something that's happened to you for which you have no explanation. You go first. You can go first. You go first. I insist. No, I insist. I insist. All right. Well, I uh, I strained my calf, so I can't play baseball, and I don't know how it happened, but it hurts. Okay. Your turn. Mine is a little bit different. When Alex was little, he was maybe 13 or 14 months old. Um, he was sitting up in the middle of my bed watching Barney. You can smile at that. It's okay. Okay, keep going. Okay. He was sitting up in the middle of my bed watching Barney, and my bedroom overlooked a big field. And he was sitting there, and the year before he was born, my mom died. He was a twin, and we lost his twin sister, Brittany. And then on his first birthday, we lost my nephew, Timmy. And he was sitting up in, a, in the middle of my bed waving, saying, and he started talking really early. Bye, Timmy. Bye, Brittany. Bye, Grandma. So I don't have an explanation for that one. Where were you on September 11, 2001? You could take the um, I homeschooled my kids, and, well, I was in bed asleep when it happened. My husband woke me up, and it felt like we were watching some surreal science fiction thing on TV. But we ended up, we were at home all day, and kept the, you know, obviously we had no choice. The news was on all day. And it would have been the first birthday for my sister after she died, because her birthday was September 11th. So it was September 11th is not a good day. What did you have for lunch yesterday? Pizza rolls. I had a cup of tomato basil bisque soup. Number four. Where do you go or to whom do you go for advice? Uh, friends and family. That's it. Because <laughs> you seek out so much advice. Uh, sometimes. Mainly friends though. Never to your mother? Sometimes. I don't really have anybody I go to for advice. Yeah, you do. Who? Me. Really? Because I know everything about the world. Okay. Alright, you go. What's the sickest you've ever been? That's an easy one for me. I don't even know. I, I don't get sick. I'm a beast. You really don't get sick. But you did have mono when you were six, so. That was a long time ago. But that was the sickest you've ever Nine been. Nine years ago? And I, um, my gallbladder ruptured right after I had Johnny, and I was unconscious for five days. So that's my sickest. Are you afraid of heights? No. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling from heights. How's that? I love heights. No, when I go over like overpasses, I have I have no problem driving over them, but to walk over them, I get like lightheaded and dizzy. And I hate like when we're on a if you're on a windy road and you're on the outside lane by like the edge of a cliff kind of thing. That makes me want to throw up. What is your favorite form of exercise? I don't like exercising. Yeah, I do. Just kidding. I like lifting weights. And running? I feel like a beast. No, I hate running. But you do it anyway. Yeah. I like walking. Go to the gym. Just hop on the treadmill for a while. What is your favorite breakfast food? Watermelon. You didn't say that very fast. Do you want to try it again? By itself. What's your favorite breakfast food? Watermelon. It's the only thing I eat in the morning, usually. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. I like Thomas's English muffins with Skippy reduced fat peanut butter on it and a banana. Or I like pineapple yogurt. Sure, that wasn't detailed enough. You want to tell me like the... Oh, stop it. I don't carbohydrates or in that. Stop there. it! What's the longest you've ever waited in line and for what were you waiting? Oh, I can think of something now. So I was trying to think of the answers before. Okay. We waited in line once for like three hours in an A's game for bobbleheads. Oh, uh, that's not that bad though. Three it's hours is bad enough. That's a long three time to stand in line. Good. Yeah, we did. It was like an hour and a half. No, it was like three hours. Sure. Probably felt like twelve. 
No. Not if you're, baseball is fun though. Like, but waiting for bobbleheads, no, that was kind that of ridiculous. No, that's cool to wait for. What did, you, what did you ever wait longest in line for? Movies, like going to see a movie. Oh, I know something else. What? Johnny's first day, or whatever, orientation for school a couple weeks ago. Oh, those are freaking longest lines ever, dude. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we had to wait in line for like two hours just Senior. to get his school schedule. And the thing is, they didn't give you the schedule with all the teachers' names on it and stuff. You had to come back on the first day of school to get that one. To wait in another line. To wait in another line. Yeah. What is your favorite Broadway musical? I don't like musicals. It's a guy thing. Guys like musicals. <laughs> Fine, I've been bailed on now. No, guys don't like video musicals. It's true. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give out your favorite musical if you don't tell tell one soon. The Lion King is my favorite musical. What's the ringtone on my phone for you? That's, I'm gonna say it. If you don't say it, I'm gonna say it. That's not a, my favorite musical. That's uh-huh. not a musical. I like the film, the animated film version. Which is? I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna pick up John. It's Beauty and the Beast. He likes Beauty and the Beast, you guys. And I like Rent. Okay, that's it. See you later, bye.